Okay, so take ones. Welcome everybody. Today we're going to be talking about some numbers and we are going to be using this as a uh, review. Now, uh, many of you have already practiced numbers before in the past. Sometimes those number rules are a little bit fuzzy. Uh, so sometimes just remembering the numbers and how they work uh, is kind of tricky. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go through the numbers and look at the patterns that we see. And I like this particular chart because it shows uh, a lot of the different variations and things that change. Okay, so what we see here, the orange highlighted are going to be your patterns. And then the blue highlighted are going to be your changes. So many of you already know, Null, eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht, neun, Okay, so most of us will know these words, and, and I think it's important that you do know those words, uh, but we, once you get those down and you understand them and you remember them, you can move on to the next level. So 10 through 19, we see Zane. Okay, Zane is important. It's in orange. Remember, that's going to be a pattern. Elf, Swolf, Dreit Zane, Yert Zane, Pomp Zane. Six same, zip same, hot same, nine same. Okay. Notice here uh, after thirteen, it's just the number and then same. A little bit of a difference here. Instead of sex, same, is because that s sound uh, gets kind of taken away by the z in same. Uh, that's what that is. Okay. So sex same, not sex same. It doesn't quite make as much sense. Um, then you have Zibsen, okay? Not Zibensen, Zibsen. Saying Zibensen is the equivalent of saying, I don't know, 11 teen, right? Doesn't quite make so much sense. So now when you get to the 20 into 29, and this is the same for all of them, you need to know the, the, the tens, uh, like multiples of 10, I would say, are probably the number one thing to know. Um, Svansig, Dreisig, Yurtzig, Pumtzig, Zegzig, Zibzig, Achtzig, Neinzig, and then Einhundert. Okay, it's not hundred isn't on there, but that's the one, the other one you might, might want to know. So the way that this works, though, um, is you want to say Ein und Zwanzig, Drei und Zwei und Zwanzig, Drei und Zwanzig, Vier und Zwanzig, Fünf und Zwanzig, Sechs und Zwanzig, Sieben und Zwanzig. 28, You see how uh, it's 9 and 20, 8 and 20, 7 and 20, 6 and 20, 5 and 20. You get the point is that when you get to these like double digit numbers, these are, uh, you're going to say the ones place first, und, and then the tens place. Okay, pretty simple. But again, it takes a little while to just train your ears to it. So don't get discouraged. We'll go through them a couple of times, do a couple number drills or something like that. Something simple that you can uh, that you can go through pretty well. Um, the next thing I want to show you is once you have these numbers down, uh, I want you to go to these mathematical expressions. And what this is, um, most of this is very similar to English, like plus and minus. And I think that people can hear that. They hear plus, they think plus. Minus, they think minus. It gets a little bit tricky when you talk about multiplication or division, mostly because a lot of people, honestly, they don't like it. Their brain says, I don't like that. So we have to think in a slightly different way. Just know that there is a multiplication, there is a division. And we'll try not to focus or dwell too much on it, but we will bring it up so you understand that there's this math type activities. Okay? And I love this one. My favorite is because equals, like whenever you think of the word equals, you're like, oh my gosh, I don't know what that is. But it's ist, I-S-T. Like, er ist, uh, her dab ist cool, right? Ist is equals. It's just like saying two plus two is four. That's how you have to think of equals. You can say two plus two equals four, but you might say two plus two is four. And that's why ist means equals in German. 
All right, so uh, another thing down here, procent, pretty easy to remember that one. Again, very similar. Now, down at the bottom section here, I'm going to go over a couple of things as soon as my little black bar goes away. Um, the biggest things is, is if you look there at the 25 in a comma four, what that really means is 25.4 within the world of math. Commas and periods are swapped. That means if you were to write 1,000, you would write one period, zero, zero, zero. Right? Okay. Now, if you were to go to a grocery store and you're looking at prices, say something is one euro and 99 cents, you would see a one comma 99. Whoa. So they do switch. So anytime you have like a math or a number, the commas and the periods are switched. And by the way, this is normal throughout much of Europe. Um, but do keep that in mind. So let's see if we can go and have some fun with the math. Okay. So we got Zeeb saying, uh, we're going to put the right word in here. Hmm. And these are going to be math symbols or numbers. So Zeeb saying 17, blank 3, 3, is 14. Ooh, so how does 17 and, and 14 and 3 go together? Zeeb saying minus 3 is 14. Good. Ooh, doing math already. This is, you know, well, I'll slow it down. Neun und zwanzig. Oh, what? That's a huge word. Uh, neun und zwanzig. That's twenty-nine. Right? Plus vierzehn. So plus fourteen is what? Neun und zwanzig plus vierzehn is for uh, forty-three. So drei und vierzig. Woo! A lot of stuff here going on. So sechzig blank zwanzig is achtzig. So 60 blank 20 is 80 is plus, right? Man, a lot of stuff here. What I encourage you to do is uh, kind of take a note of the chart so that you can kind of see that chart and uh, make use of it so that you can figure out these things. It takes a while. Don't rush it and, and be patient with yourself. 